Hi, I'm Dronius and welcome back to the channel. If any of you played Minecraft for many years, you may have heard of a popular mod for the game called Pixelmon. It essentially adds Pokemon into the game with randomly generated gyms, villages with a Pokemon Center and store, items from the mainline series, new biome dimensions that replicate the Ultra Wormholes from Generation 7, Pokemon with custom skins, and of course, the monsters themselves. It baffles my mind that this mod has been around for 10 years. Just knowing that fact is a reminder that my lifespan is quickly draining away. Over the years, Pixelmon went through several updates that slowly turned into what it is now. It was even DMCA'd by Nintendo themselves at one point before being revived by a new dev team. But one thing people noticed is that the better it became, the more the art style deviated from Minecraft's aesthetics. Now I'll take whatever it currently has over what it used to look like back in 2013. It's just that the models are highly detailed and a proof of the developers pouring blood, sweat, and tears into making them. But they feel out of place within Minecraft and it's something I would see in Roblox instead. So what if I told you that there's a Pokemon mod that not only looks good, but every model was designed to fit directly into Minecraft? A mod that looks like something Mojang would add to the vanilla version of the game. Well that mod in question is... Cobblemon is a mod that not only makes the models for every Pokemon fit in Minecraft's art style, but it also tries to integrate Minecraft's elements by making items easily craftable using resources that are easy to find, and Pokemon will spawn in a large variety of biomes through multiple conditions. It's also compatible with both Forge and Fabric, which are mod loaders to install mods into Minecraft. Pixelmon is only available on Forge and can be played on older versions of the game, whereas Cobblemon can be played on newer versions and allows you to experience the recent updates. It should be noted that this mod is still in early development and it's constantly changing. It can be unfair to compare the two mods due to how long each one has been in existence. Pixelmon has been around for much longer and has been through lots of changes, but Cobblemon has only been around for less than a year and is still trying to take shape into what it will become in the future. This video isn't meant to be a jab at either of them, but more so of a way to answer whether or not Cobblemon will be able to overthrow Pixelmon as the definitive Pokemon mod for Minecraft. While the biggest appeal that everyone has about Cobblemon is the superb models and friendly accessibility with newer versions of the game, it's not the only thing that it has going for. Let me show you. When you boot up a new survival world, you are asked to press the M key to choose your starter Pokemon. Immediately you'll notice that the Johto and Paldea starters are missing, but with more updates, I'm sure more Pokemon will be added in. Initiating a battle starts by throwing a Pokemon at the enemy and it'll bring up this pretty looking GUI. Fight to see your Pokemon's move list, catch to use Pokeballs, switch to use other party members, and the run option in which you have to physically run away from the battle for it to work, which I think it's cool. Also, you can move while battling by pressing the R key to get better perspectives. As you traverse the world, you'll notice that some Pokemon have unique animations for idling, sleeping, and fainting. This alone feels more personal to the player and gives the monsters more life to them instead of just having one idle and walking animation like Pixelmon. Of course, not every Pokemon has its own animations, as some of them are static and slide across the floor, but that's to be expected for a new mod. Some other perks that Cobblemon has over Pixelmon are, a Legends Arceus type of evolution and moveset process where you can choose which ability your Pokemon can have at any time, a friendly user interface that lets you check some party members' IVs, EVs, base stats, friendship levels, and much more. Baby Pokemon can be placed on your shoulder with some of them giving you specific benefits when placed, like Pikachu and Pichu giving the player speed too, allowing you to run fast, Zubat and Pidgey giving you feather falling too, which gives you the ability to slowly descend from high places, Jolte can give you haste too, which lets you mine resources faster, and Wooper granting you water breathing too, which lets you breathe underwater. Like I mentioned before, items are easily crafted with basic resources and take fewer steps to get than the ones in Pixelmon. Especially the healing station in PC, which when broken with a pickaxe can be picked back up and doesn't waste stuff you use to make them. Also, if you throw a Pokeball and miss your target, the item won't break and you can pick it back up, unlike in Pixelmon. And finally, the biggest benefits Cobblemon has is his friendliness towards other Minecraft mods. If you head over to their official Discord server, there's a section called Content, where users are able to add Fakemons, custom skins, random generated structures into the game, and much more through add-ons. So if the base mod isn't giving enough satisfaction, you can install these creations people outside of the dev team have made. I recommend you guys browse through the individual chats to see which ones you want to use. In conclusion, does Cobblemon dethrone Pixelmon as the best Pokemon mod for Minecraft? No. At least, not yet. While both mods are fun to play, Cobblemon is already on its way of being a better and more artistic version of Pixelmon. 
Despite lacking in content, it already found a way to stand out on its own while maintaining a high quality and cool experience that anyone can get into. It still doesn't have stuff that can only be added through add-ons as of this video, like trainer battles, random generated structures, HMs or TMs, none of the gimmicks from generations 6 to 9, and you can't ride any Pokemon that can swim, run fast, or fly. But honestly, that's okay. Like I said, Cobblemon is updating at a fast pace. If given enough time to cook, then I truly believe that this will replace Pixelmon as the best Minecraft Pokemon mod. To describe both of these mods in a simple way, Cobblemon is a Minecraft game that just happens to have Pokemon as normal mobs, and Pixelmon is a mainline Pokemon game that takes place within Minecraft. Also, while I was editing this video, the Cobblemon devs are already teasing some new stuff in the next major update, teasing new items and Pokemon including the Paldian starter. Oh.